and uh, they've been battling the fire through the night up till now. There are now approximately 100 uh, emergency response personnel uh, between firefighters, uh, law enforcement, and emergency response uh, involved in uh, fighting the fire. Uh, fire is right now 20% contained, and uh, the approximate size is 700 to 800. Uh, now, 700 to 800 acres. The fire is expected to grow in the next 24 hours, uh, and that is uh, due to uh, fire expansion that will be within the perimeter of, of the fire. That's expected growth within the next 24 hours. There are some homes that are continue to be under mandatory evacuation. One thing that we always like to share, we've received a lot of calls here at the public information desk saying, should I evacuate, should I not evacuate? We always say, you make a best decision. Don't wait for a phone call that says, says evacuate. If you think you need to go ahead and evacuate, go ahead and do that. There had been some social media reports that um, someone had said that uh, there were, possibly these fires were started intentionally. Uh, we have no investigations going on into that. The Sheriff's Department has no investigations going on into intentionally set fires into this area. So we want to make sure that's clear uh, right off the go. Currently the, the fire footprint, we have tied in here from Reynolds Parkway down here to Sampson Road. We have containment lines along Reynolds Parkway here to the Duggar Fire Tower Road. We have, we're using Duggar Fire Tower Road to the south and tying back in to Sampson Road on the south side of the fire. As we said earlier, we currently have roughly seven to 800 acres consumed by fire at this time. We do expect that footprint to go to grow within our containment lines that, that we've established here along those, those boundaries. Currently, we have crews in place on all divisions around the fire. We're currently doing some burnout to try to secure the corner of Reynolds Parkway and Duggar Fire Tower Road. Once we get that secured, we're going to continue burning out Duggar Fire Tower Road to consume the unburned fuel between the main fire and our fire break. We currently have structural protection resources along Sampson Road, Watson Road, and up Duggar Fire Tower Road in these homes here. We've been prepping those homes all day, securing those homes and burning out around them to provide a safety zone around the homes from the wildfire themselves. <clears throat> Actions for tonight, we're gonna to have engines and personnel patrolling all divisions of the fire, monitoring patrolling, checking for hot spots, making sure those structures are left intact and secure overnight. Make sure the fire doesn't jump the road and get to the other side. The water in that one tree down right here, the power line right here, we definitely don't want it falling on the power line taking the power out because it becomes real dangerous. 